You have probably heard that in the human body, there are as many bacteria as there are human cells. Yet, we have sites within our body that should be sterile. When we have an infection, it is caused by microbes, bacteria, fungus, viruses, that move into a sterile site. Or the community of microbes currently living in that body site enter dysbiosis, an imbalance between the host's microbiome. An infection occurs when the host responds to these invaders, with white blood cells moving to the site and an inflammatory response. This means fever and other symptoms. Your doctor may need to prescribe an antibiotic or antifungal. However, not all antibiotics work against all bacteria. Your doctor will need to know the type of microbe or microbes causing the infection. The method used for more than 150 years to detect the bacteria causing your infection is laboratory culture. What are the problems with laboratory culture? Only 1-2% to of all known microbes can be grown in culture. If the bacteria or fungus causing your infection does not grow in the culture lab, your doctor will not know what antibiotic or antifungal to prescribe. Using the wrong antibiotic for your infection will leave you to continue to feel miserable or even die. In chronic infections, the bacteria and fungus will form a collaborative community or biofilm. This means the microbes will form a wall or matrix to protect themselves and are more difficult to eradicate. The biofilm can form on any host tissue or implant within your body. Bacteria has been around for billions of years and have adapted. They can go into a VBNC state, viable but not culturable. They simply go into hibernation and will not grow in the culture lab. They are hiding, resulting in you not getting the right antibiotic. What diagnostic tool can overcome these issues around culture and getting bacteria to grow? Just like each of us has our own unique DNA, bacteria and fungus also have their own unique DNA. We now can take a sample from the host, urine, blood, tissue, fluid, swabs, and within that sample we collect the microbes living at that site of the infection. Rather than trying to grow them in a petri dish, we can extract their DNA. Like a crime scene, we collect the DNA and then compare the DNA to a known library or database of the exact DNA sequence code. A match of the bacterial DNA in from the sample to the database tells us what type of bacteria is in the sample. The DNA is the most precise method for detecting a microbe. Now that we know the type of bacteria, we can target the correct antibiotic or antifungal right bug, right drug. Using DNA to identify microbes is called molecular diagnostics. This type of molecular test is called next generation sequencing, NGS. Only one lab, Microgen DX, offers this type of technology and has a reimbursement code. Microgen DX has the lowest price for the test and the fastest turnaround time. Your in-network lab, such as LabCorp or Quest, does not offer NGS for infections. As with anything new in medicine, the insurance companies are slow to adapt to new diagnostic tools and new antibiotics. Ask your doctor about Microgen DX.